Ranch Management University is a new program that we've brought here to College Station that is uh, really targeting the novice landowner. Uh, there's a lot of people these days buying lots of land in Texas and other states that have not come from a farm or ranch background. And so they're not really, they really don't have a lot of uh, knowledge or understanding about how to manage their ranch resources. That's the soils, the plants, the animals, and those animals can be livestock or wildlife. And so we've uh, designed a, a four-day program here uh, targeting, again, the novice. And uh, it's interesting, we advertise for novices and that's who we get and we're real proud to get them here because they're a great group of people to work with. Uh, they come in and, and uh, we just enjoy uh, spending the entire week with them because uh, they, they listen, they pay attention, uh, they take a lot of notes, they ask lots of questions. And so we like to think that we're sending them back, not with all the answers, but at least some basic understanding of how to start managing those resources. And then we give them a lot of contact information, uh, starting with our county extension agent, moving right on up to campus-based specialists and NRCS personnel and others, so that when they get back home and they, they run across a question that maybe we didn't cover uh, or something that comes up out of the blue, they at least know who to contact and try to get those answers. It's all about stu uh, stewardship. It's all about land management, resource management and uh, we're just trying to help them get off to a good start with that. Uh, Ranch Management University has been great. I came here really with a pretty specific question in mind. Is, is, uh, do I want to run a cow-calf operation or do I want to run a stalker operation on my, on my small land? Uh, what my family's trying to do is figure out a way to make it uh, self-sustaining. So, so being able to come here and learn about stocking rates and, and how to make sure my pastures are healthy and, one of the first things we talked about was soil testing and how, how can you plan any kind of, any kind of procedure if you don't know what, what's in your soil. Even though I've, I, you know, I, I can look and see I have great grass. Um, my neighbors had cows on my place with a pasture lease for a number of years. But uh, you know, now that it's my money I'm investing, uh, I'm, I'm sort of learning the perfect steps of what I need to do to make sure that I'm maximizing the amount of weight gain that my cows can, make, can, you know, can gain. Uh, if you are a, a new rancher who has either inherited some property or you just bought a little plot of land, I mean, there's people here that own 20 acres, there's people here that own 2,000 acres. Uh, it's been an incredible, um, just great demonstration of, of before you commit to any sort of ranch management technique, these are the steps that you need to do. So if, you, if you've been in the cattle business or, or the farming, well, this is really a, ca a cattle and wildlife uh, class, if you've been in those those uh, operations for years and years, this probably isn't the class for you, but if you know nothing about running cattle or, or managing a, a, a plot of land for a wildlife herd, maybe some deer or turkey, so this is a really terrific class.